Every so often you need to refresh your hardware. Everyone knows that. What do you do with your old gear? Some people throw it away in the bin, some people give it to their niece or nephew or something like that so that they can muck around with it and learn some bits and pieces. What I'm gonna stress for you to do is make sure you do none of that. You wanna make sure that you use something called Boot Nuke and have the data that's on those computers completely wiped. If you don't, you're gonna be in a position where someone can recover the data or they might be able to use that against you. You gotta be very, very careful with your data, especially when you're changing over systems. And this isn't limited to just computers and servers. A lot of people don't realize this, but most business grade printers store everything that you printed in them. So if you're an accountant or a solicitor or anything like that, where your job requires a high level of integrity and you deal with a lot of confidential data, you are very irresponsible for throwing out a printer if you, if you don't pull it apart and rip out that hard drive. It's imperative that you do that. It's so important. Unless you don't care about any of the stuff you've been printing or you don't care if it gets in the wrong hands of anyone. Because uh, it will. There's a lot of people, a lot of auction sites around Australia. You jump onto them and you can buy a pallet of printers. In fact, I bought a filing cabinet the other day. And the, I know, I know, I was shocked as well. A filing cabinet, what, are you, what is paper even? I don't even know. But I bought one and inside the filing cabinet, when I pulled out the whole filing cabinet, there was a bunch of files that had fallen down behind the actual cabinet trays and I was able to pick them out and see exactly who owned the filing cabinet. It's really dangerous stuff. You gotta be really careful about your paper trail. There's lots of companies out there that can make sure that you are protected. Even if you just get a drill and you just drill a hole through the hard drive of, of, the, of the printer or of the workstations and servers, you're sure that it's gonna be fine. Unless you're going through the boot nuke process, which isn't a hard process, but unless you're doing that, you can leave yourself really, really wide open for people to get in, steal your identity, pretend to be you, and make a havoc of your life. Format everything, but stay good.